in high definition. This is CBS 4 News. Get the whole story. News of the stem cell bill signing has was received with joy by a liquid woman. She says the research has already improved her life. CBS 4's Terry Jessup goes in-depth this evening with how the research in other countries is helping people in Colorado and how Coloradans are hopeful for the future. Jennifer Blankenship has suffered from multiple sclerosis since 1984. After years of no relief from pills and alternative medicines. I have done every drug on, on the market for MS. She traveled to Costa Rica to receive stem cell spinal injections. When I got back, I could move parts of my body and talk normally and I'd see normally. I could move both legs straight out. And I can still do this. I couldn't move this hand before, so it, it was remarkable. And when she heard the news, the president has now reversed limits on using federal money for embryonic stem cell research. So this will absolutely be a miracle for so many people. Jennifer's treatment in Costa Rica cost $15,000. She's hoping to raise the money so she can go back for more. And it only works for a couple of years. But a couple of years for me is a lifetime. It offers really new hope uh, and exciting opportunities. Terry White is president of Bridge Health International, the local company that arranged Jennifer's trip. We've seen patients within 48 hours of treatment who had paralysis from, uh, from a stroke be able to grab something with that paralyzed hand and actually throw, throw a ball so their dog can chase it. White concedes the stem cell treatments are expensive, normally running in other countries, from $20,000 up to $60,000. Today's bill signing, he says, could change that as more money becomes available for research. The question for people like Jennifer Blankenship is how soon the treatment she receives right now in Costa Rica become available here in the United States. That's a question that's tough to answer. It will probably be, hopefully, in my lifetime. In Lakewood, Terry Jessup, CBS 4 News.